In this video, you get to pick a number, an element, or a tarot card, all having to do with the issue of abundance. Welcome and greetings. Thank you for tuning in and watching Medium Tarot TV channel. My name is Edward, Psychic Medium, your soul messenger host, assisting us all, including myself, to live, love, and manifest the life that is soul intended for us to live this lifetime. Let's get busy. All right, so this is the second installment. So this video is inspired by the Taurus New Moon of May 15th. The Psychic Insight theme is the astrological influence is Saturn in Taurus. So it's getting serious, getting busy with everything having to do with earthly matters or the element of Earth. So I'm going to break that down next. Just want to say that we are utilizing the Wizards to Row. Okay. Very fun deck. Has like a Harry Potter-ish feel to it. Which I'm a fan of the, of the films, of course. And just remember to go to our website. Link below. Good one. Link below if you're watching on YouTube. And go to your Zodiac sign link. And extra information, additional content will be there, including a photo of the tarot cards that are chosen to be shown out of each element. So, okay? All right, so let's do the breakdown. Okay, number one, you can pick number one or you can pick spirit. Spirits representing the universe, our spirit guides. Okay, so it is those who are working with us. Okay, the cosmos, the universe, being one with the universe. Okay, number two would be, you can either choose number two or the element of fire. And this would be, the element of fire is the spark of life, the spark of divinity within us all. Namaste. It's our spiritual essence going along with the belief that we are all spiritual beings just so happen to be in a physical body this time around. And it's our connection with our higher self, our spiritual self. All right. If you pick number three or the element of water, element of water represents love, passion, creativity, spirituality, our subconscious energy, connecting with our subconscious energy. Number four or the element of earth which is really what we're getting down to at this time with this video. The element of Earth represents work, job, finances, career, sense of security within, which I always say in my videos that it's vital to attract, manifest, create anything, the good, the bad, the wise, and or the wicked, all the selves within, self-worth, self-love, self-esteem, self-confidence. The element of earth also represents long-range goals and our physical health. And getting back to the sense of security within, if that is iffy or wobbly or negative, the energy within, that's what we end up attracting. Okay? The good, the bad, the wise, and the wicked. And I do feel that that's actually the most important out of all those issues because our physical health eventually suffers if that is not so positive. All right. And then if you chose number five or the element of air, this is representing our conscious mind, all the things that go bump in the night in between our ears. And, you know, working with, working with our mind, this is where it usually can get us in trouble or meditation is usually suggested. All right, so let's just jump right in. We're going to start the read. And this is for those who chose number one or spirit. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Talk about getting down to it. All right. Tarot card that I'm going to show for this section is the Magician. All 
Okay, beautiful. All right. Now, as was discussed, or the theme of the first pick a number elementary card video, the Star Wars edition, with the with the image of Yoda as a wise spiritual teacher. We are all co-creators with the universe. In that video, check it out. Go to um, your, go on our website, your, your zodiac sign link. That was a check-in to see how we're doing with being a co-creator with spirit. So here we are. We're being called out on it. So now, here we're being told that what is our connection with money? Now, money is just... Money is just an exchange of energy, okay? So if we block the flow of energy with fear or worry or anxiety, fear of not having, that actually blocks the flow of money flowing, coming in, okay? So let me give you an example. Many moons ago, when I started to read the Tarot, in the beginning, people would offer me to give me a tip and I said no that's okay and then I figured out no I need if they want to give it freely I should accept it because I'm actually blocking the flow of money coming in just one example alright so this is all about journey of consciousness letting go of our fear our worry our anxiety having to do with money because we get the energy of increase of finances. And we have to see that we could potentially be in our own way. So how I work through all the mind stuff is meditation. Definitely. And I utilize guided meditations because my mind is very stubborn. All right. So let's see. What else do we have? We have thoughts of business and we have thoughts of money and or physical health. But here we're talking about money, but again, stress over money can create physical problems eventually. I mean, how many, right? How many problems are there with relationships? And it comes down to money. It comes down to, yeah, it comes down to money. I was, you're going to slice that one a lot of times. The stress over the finances. So this is saying, really to examine and to accept that we are co-creators with spirit, with the universe, therefore we can create our own universe. And just like was mentioned in the, the other video, the Star Wars edition, master your universe. How are we doing with mastering our own personal universe, our mini universe within? Okay. So thoughts of business would be taking the bird's eye view, the big picture, okay? Let's keep the big picture in sight. What is our game plan? Do we have a game plan? Are we saving money towards something? And actually saving money wouldn't be a bad idea, but it would not be out of fear, not to save money out of fear, or loss, or the just-in-case account. It's so the universe can match it, okay? That would be the reason, okay? Just keep that in mind. So the universe can match what we have in that account. Attraction. Like attracts like, okay? The good, the bad, the wise, and the wicked. So this really is a letting go of, of our fear, our worry, our concern, our stress over finances. And really realizing that we, how powerful we are. And that we can create a better existence for ourselves. And as we help ourselves, we help those in our immediate environment. Which eventually trickles out to the collective. All right. Great read. All right, so now we're going to... Let me write down that card so I don't forget. All right. Now we're going to move on to if you chose number two. 
or the element, wrote it in the wrong section, <sighs> sorry. Now we're going to move on to if you chose number two or the element of fire. This is the card that they want to show, the Two of Wands. All right, now this is saying, this is a very creative energy that's coming up, creative spark within us all, whether we think we are or not. But this really is like a feeling energy. Getting involved in, it doesn't have to be an art project per se, but a creative project, yes. This is letting our creative energy, tapping into our creative energy, okay? The energy of love affair comes up. So that's having a love affair. That's enjoying what we're doing. So what do we have a passion for? It's suggested to... I'm getting, yes, it's suggested for us to go to a museum or an exhibit for inspiration. Get the creative juices flowing. There's also an energy of definitely sharing it with the world, with the globe. Whatever creative endeavor that we are involved in or thinking of being involved in. Because we would create a, like a mini community, people who resonate with what our work or endeavor is. Would That's how it works, energy. Energy attracts energy. Whatever we resonate with or towards. And I'm getting that through this, I'm going to say creative project for lack of, because it could mean many different things, people would see us differently, like a different view, a different perspective. Even though it has an energy that whatever endeavor we're talking about would assist many, the bottom line should be creative and fun, a light approach, even though it has layers to it where it can be very subtle yet profound and be of great assistance, which is absolutely wonderful. There's a very playful energy here. Yes, very playful. Keep that in mind. So you may ask, what does this have to do with abundance? This is the energy of lightening up. <laughs> lightening up the energy, the vibration. And then you can still get your point across but with a lighter touch, a lighter vibration of creativity and fun. And then that attracts the abundance. Okay? And there's also an energy of not being... not being afraid to give with 
and have fear of it not coming back to you because money really is a reciprocal energy. It's a give and take because the energy of give and take is here. The art of allowing, just giving and taking. And if we give and we're resentful, we actually cause an energy interference, which interferes with money coming in as well. All right, I'm going to end it there. All right, so for those who chose number three or the element of water. All right. Wow. Okay. This is the card they want to show. Okay, it's the alchemist. I have to look up to see what card this would represent. Forgive me for a sec, I have to look this up. I'm thinking maybe, mm, maybe number 14, that, oh, they don't even have it numbered. Jeez Louise. Okay, let me see it this way. They don't really even have them numbered. Okay. I'm going to see how they are in order, though. Yeah. This would be, in, a, in another tarot deck, would be number 14 or the um, temperance. Nice interpretation, though, right? All right, so this is the bullseye, abundance, okay? Abundance. The energy of abundance comes up. It's the beginning stages of the element of earth. I guess I best repeat that. I'm going to repeat what the element of earth represents. Work, job, finances, career, sense of security within, all the cells, self-worth, self-esteem, self-confidence, love, worth, esteem, confidence, long-range goals, and physical health. The energy of long-range goals comes up as well in this read. Okay. So, what direction are we going to go in? What are our goals? What are our goals? That's going to decide, well, that's what's suggested. If there are choices and decisions to be made, if there are multiple or more than one option, that, and there is a holdup or a delay within yourself as which direction to go into, then it is time to either take out your list of long-range goals or to revise it Review it or construct it, depending on where you are in that spectrum. And I always find it very magical to actually write it down, and then you can transfer it to any electronic device of choice. But I always feel it's magical to write it down. Um, it helps to um, channel the energy. Now, we have to be careful of being... Okay, I get this. We have to be careful of being overburdened, overwhelmed, perhaps at having not as much money as we would like for a project. Well, then that just means it has to be done in stages, okay? You do what you can right now, and then when you have more money, you do more at a later time. 
there is a bigger picture here of assist again the energy of assisting others okay that's absolutely wonderful so now here we have the energy of being if you will a mixologist putting it all together integrating putting all the pieces together this is a game plan okay this is a game plan So, not to lose sight when it comes to abundance. Not to lose sight of the big picture, the long-range goal. Do what you can at this time when you're watching this, um, this video. And, you know, write out a game plan or your long-range goals or steps that you can do. Whatever you can do now, you can physically do now with, with the resources that you have, the finances that you have but know that it is going to grow, okay? If, if need be, do something where you can go into, go to your happy place, go to a quiet place. How I do that is um, meditation. That's how I do it. That's how I calm my mind down if I get overwhelmed. But whatever puts you in a quiet Zen mode. Listen to some music that is soothing. Could be anything, really. You're going to know as an individual, hopefully. So the thing is to, yes, make a choice. But it's there are more options, I should say, down the road. Do not be dismayed if there's only so much you can do at the given time, okay? Yes, the big picture. Yes, there's layers. Yes, there's more at a later time, okay? All right. Very well. Oh, let me write down that card. So drop my pen, excuse me. All right. Now, moving on to if you chose number four or the element of earth. Okay. All right. This is saying loud and clear, it is time to put our thoughts into action. It is time to implement our thoughts and put it into physical action. Things are already have percolated, already have formulated. Now it's time to physically implement it Put it out to the world, start the project, whatever it is, endeavor, do what you love, and the money will follow. Okay? That's nice. Of course. If there is any trepidation or hesitation, it is because of you're either concerned of how it's going to be received. Don't do that. Don't stop yourself. Don't hesitate because of that. Or it also could be, be, it is definitely that, or it also could be because of someone around us or the who has influence on us presently or from the past that we're still resonating with, one level or another. We feel that they would disapprove or not understand. Well, people are going to get what they're going to get, what they're going to get at the given time, okay? 
can't really. It's it's um, self defeating for us to stop or hesitate because of that. Just saying, okay. Now with here, it's a very specific thing that we have in mind to do, to put out to the world, to the globe. Absolutely. I'm trying to think what card they want to show. Okay, they want to show this card. The King of Wands. That's the card that they want to show. There you go. King of Wands. Now, yes, there is many layers to this, but you know, I always talk about the, um, the student of life, that we all are, ever growing, evolving. But sometimes we can overdo that and forget that we're also the teacher. Because I, I feel it's a built-in energy, sometimes with a student, sometimes with a teacher. Well, I'm not going to say that the student has surpassed the teacher, but I'm going to say it's time to be the teacher. It's time to implement, okay? We have gathered enough information, resources, energy, uh, meaning um, information. It's our move. It's time to make a move, quite frankly. And even though there's many layers, many dimensions to this, whatever, endeavor, create a project, whatever, let's just say endeavor or project, it will unfold as as it progresses. But be okay with it unfolding and progressing as a, as a work uh, a work in progress. Be okay with that, okay? Try not to have it all figured out because you're waiting for Godot. You're waiting for, um, you're waiting unnecessarily. Okay, that's the read. All right, let me write down that card. All right, and then, last but not least, if you chose number five or the element of air. Okay, two cards. Put that over there. All right. Too much talk, not enough action. <laughs> so it is time. Too much mind chatter. Too much mind activity. It's all going to work itself out if we go with it. Okay? Put the energy out. Put the effort out. I'm going to get to the two that popped out. I'm going to do that last. We are giving, we're doing like a mind frack with ourselves. We're really getting in our own way. Bring ourselves back into the moment. Because otherwise, self-doubt is going to take over. It doesn't have to. Do never forget about the experience that you have, even if it's just life experience. Life experience, there's something to be said about that, okay? We've all, regardless of your physical age at the time, we've all experienced some type of crap, crap storm in our life, okay? So, we survived, now we're going to thrive, right? 
So try not to hold on to the uncomfortableness or the crap storms of the past because we can unfortunately attract it and we don't need to repeat that lesson, okay? Don't need to repeat that lesson. That was then, this is now. There's also, you know, the possibility of being um, trepidatious, is that a word? The trepidation of um, being hesitant of, well, that happened then, so there's no way I'm going to put myself out or I'm going to do this again. You're a different vibration than you were back then, okay? You're selling yourself short, which would end up with less money, what's in your wallet, which would end up with less money in your wallet, just saying, or purse, whatever. Again, there's the energy of come back to the moment. Be fully present. Yes. Yes. Okay, what card do you want to show? Okay, they want to show this. They want to show the Two of Pentacles. Matches the color I'm wearing. All right. Let me write that down. Now, two cards kind of like poked out. So, let's see what that what that's telling us. That's telling us that we're just stopping ourselves. We're just preventing ourselves. Okay, potentially doubting ourselves. Okay. Because we might be thinking, how the frack are we going to pull this off? By just do it, Nike. Just do it. That's how. If you have to learn as you go, so be it. Okay? We've landed on our feet before. We'll land on our feet again. It does, it is requiring a leap of faith because there's a lot, because there's a lot of hesitation here. But the energy that, the extra energy is the energy of want and desire. And, okay, that is saying we should examine why we're putting so much pressure on ourselves to be potentially either the leader of the pack or to make our mark in a certain field or expertise. It's not necessary. If we just be our badass self, put our unique stamp on it, that's good enough, okay? That, that'll do, pig. That is just good enough, okay? Just like I'm putting my own unique stamp on the pick a card or pick a deck videos that I saw from other readers that I actually enjoyed very much. And I added pick a number and element a tarot card. And actually I'm going to be doing, this is going to evolve into something else, but we still got to put it out there. Don't deprive the world. So let's not get ahead of ourselves by putting so much pressure on ourselves that it has to be perfect or it has to be a certain way or nothing at all. Well, you, you would be doing yourself and the world an injustice, okay? Now, yes, it is true that whatever we're talking about, endeavor or project, is bigger than, than, is bigger than us and will grow and evolve but if we don't allow it to, we can't, that's the energy that I'm getting, we can't suppress it, okay? We can't stop the, the speed or the momentum because we would do a great disservice to whatever the endeavor or project is, including ourselves. It's a momentum. Let it be, let it go, let it flow. All right. All right, there you have it. 
Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed and resonated with the, the number, the element, or the tarot card that you chose. Please like, share, subscribe this video. Greatly appreciate it for those who do. Please subscribe to our e-newsletter list for member perks, automatic discounts, sales, contests. I get to keep in touch with you. My travels, updates, services, what Spirit wants to convey to us at the given time. And feel free to have a psychic reading session with myself and my guides. Donate. And I hope to see you real soon in another video. And definitely check out your Zodiac sign link on our website. Link below if you're watching on YouTube for additional content and theme healing songs and a lot of extras. Okay. Hope to see you real soon. Take care. Let's, let's go with our abundance, okay? What's in your wallet?